so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A purple wiggle bug. That's right. Where did you get purple paint? I mixed it myself. Want to see how? Yes, please. Okay, first, start with some red. <laughs> then get a little bit of blue and mix it in. Look, it's turning purple. Yeah, you mixed red and blue and made purple. What are you going to call your color? I'm going to call it Perfect purple. All right. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, look at my perfect purple. Can we make that the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting purple. Perfect purple. Which balloon is purple? There it is! Purple balloon. Which kite is purple? There it is! Purple kite. Which sock is purple? There it is! Purple sock. Which jewel is purple? There it is. Purple jewel. That's exactly right. Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, monkey. First, find all the purple triangles and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There 
there's one! There's another one! This is purple! That's a square. We only want purple triangles. Oh, right. I forgot. There's one! Thank you, monkey. Now, let's gather all of the purple stars. Okay! Here. Here. And here. Splendid. Should I look for purple squares now, Ms. Panda? That's a good idea. Okay. Here, 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 and here. Great! And what's left? Two red shapes. Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie! No more shapes! Thank you so much, Monkey! What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want! We can use them to make art projects! Ooh, I could use two triangles to make a bow tie! Look! <laughs> oh, Monkey, you look very fancy! I'm crunching leaves! But only purple leaves! I see one! Let's look for more! Let's look for one more! Do you see it? There it is! We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called, What Does Anu See? Anu is a little girl who likes to observe things. That means she looks at them very carefully and notices things. I wonder what she observes. Let's find out. Let's begin. What does Anu see? Written and illustrated by Lavanya Karthik. Anu loves to look at things, things both big and small, houses way up on the hills, and ants upon the wall. Things in the kitchen, things on the shelf, things in the garden, things on herself. Anu sees patterns and shapes everywhere. Nothing at all can escape her stare. Spots on a ladybug, circles in the trees, shapes made by people, shapes made by bees. Lines on a leaf, like lines on her hand, the marks of her feet in wet seaside sand. Waves in the water, waves in her hair, mushrooms on tree trunks, birds in the air. Words in a book that can take her to new places, full of new colors, new stories, and new faces. Things of the color that she loves best, red, like the three wiggly hairs on her brother Boo's head. Sprinkles on the cake Daddy baked today, and the stars that twinkle at her from far, far away. Rabbits in the clouds floating up in the sky, elephants in the shadows. Come give it a try. Anu is happy with all the things she sees, 
Do you see all the things that little Anu sees? The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing Itsy Bitsy Spider. I don't know that song. You don't know it yet. I'll teach it to you. And look what I have in my backpack. My maracas. I'll sing the song first. Then you sing along with me. Okay, let's begin. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Now this time we'll all sing together, okay? Okay! Yeah! I'm ready! Here we go! The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter U. Who can think of a fun way to do it? I know. Let's trace letters with a glue stick. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Fox, why don't you go first? Okay. You. Oh. Great. I'll try it. You. Terrific tracing. Now, let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll trace the next one. Hmm. You. Nice job! I want to try! <laughs> you! Ooh. You did it! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? You! Exactly! Uppercase U. And what's this letter? U. That's right. Lowercase u. Nice job. Wow. wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. You. Upside down. Uh, uh. Upside down! <laughs> umbrella! Uh, uh, umbrella! Under! Uh, uh, under! <laughs> Up! Uh, uh,
What letter do all these words start with? U. That's right. The letter U. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Every fiddler he had a fiddle. And a very fine fiddle had he. Oh, there's none so rare as can compare with King Cole and his fiddlers three. Every fiddler he had a fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Oh, there's none so rare as can compare with King Cole and his fiddlers three.